today we have access to a variety of data from different sources via different applications that we use across all forms of business all of this data can be analyzed to help leaders gain insights that help them make the right decisions for their business at the right time in this webinar we will walk through how c data cloud hub and bol bi can be integrated to reveal the story hidden in your data about bol bi it is a modern feature rich and secure business dashboard software for data story preparation and storytelling dashboards created with this visualization tool can be taken to anywhere like laptop television mobile tablet and optimized for large screen displays also bolbi can be utilized in three different formats for business intelligence needs first as saas hosted in the microsoft azure cloud there is very little to set up just sign up with your email and you're done the application is ready to use as soon as you log in second as enterprise you can install in your own on premise devices like pcs and laptops also you can install in any cloud vendors like aws or google cloud by hosting bol bi behind your firewall the enterprise setup allows you to have complete control of application along with your data and as embedded you can embed dashboards into your own applications white label them to give them the same look and feel as the rest of your application and access your data in a secure and safe manner hey jerod would you like to present now talk a few words about c data and show a few demo yeah absolutely thanks dinesh okay so um so thanks again for having me uh, my name is jerod johnson i'm a technology evangelist for c data software um, if after the webinar or at any point in the future you have any questions about c data you can send me an email at jerod at cdata.com uh, and what i want to take just a couple of minutes to talk to everyone about today is who c data is and what the c data cloud hub is and how it offers data driven cloud integration so let's start by talking about c data software c data software is a leading provider of data access and connectivity solutions in short we want to let you see the world as a database uh, we believe that data connectivity is too important to be peripheral so um, we make connectivity our core business uh, it's not a function of, of other products that we produce. It, it's not an afterthought. Um, our business is data connectivity. And part of that business is adhering to these database connectivity standards, uh, standards that are used in development frameworks, standards that are used in uh, applications uh, and, and platforms. So Bold BI uses data connectivity standards. And by partnering with Syncfusion and Bold BI, uh, we're able to offer uh, deeper connectivity to a wider variety of data sources um, for dashboards, visualization, and reporting. Um, because we specialize in standards, we're able to offer connectivity to any data source uh, using any technology on any platform. So we provide SQL or SQL connectivity uh, to more than 100 SaaS, NoSQL, and big data sources through established standards like ODBC, JDBC, ADO.NET, and more. So these are the data standards that I mentioned earlier. On top of those data standards, uh, we have built a new cloud-based product called the CData Cloud Hub. Uh, the CData Cloud Hub essentially allows you to do select star from cloud app from your cloud applications as well. Uh, the CData Cloud Hub is a, a cloud application, an integration platform as a service that sits in the cloud, and it sits between your tools like Bold BI and your data sources like QuickBooks Online. Uh, when a tool like Bold BI requests data from a data source, it generally uses uh, a, a data standard like SQL or even OData in order to request data. Unfortunately, a lot of the APIs that exist for the SaaS applications like QuickBooks Online, 
um, the protocols that exist for connecting to big data sources don't speak SQL or OData. The way that we uh, assist in that process is CData Cloud Hub acts as a virtual database that sits in the cloud. Um, it will receive the request from a tool like Bold BI. It will translate that request into an API request, get the response from the source, and then process the response and return it to the tool uh, as a database table or a database view. So complete with rows and columns that represent the data entities that exist within the API. So what does it look like to connect to data through the Cloud Hub? So it's a simple three-step process. Um, first, you're just going to create a virtual database for the data source in the Cloud Hub. Uh, there's a point and click UI that allows you to do that. Or you can use um, a database client, like a MySQL client or a SQL Server client, um, to use scripting to create these databases as well. I'll demonstrate using the point and click interface um, in just a moment. So once you create the virtual database, you simply connect to the Cloud Hub from Bold BI. Um, there is a, a native CData Cloud Hub connector in Bold BI on the cloud. Um, and then if you're using an installed version of Bold BI, um, you can also connect via OData. Uh, the OData standard is supported by Cloud Hub as well. Uh, and then once you've connected, you simply visualize your live data. Um, you don't have to replicate, you don't have to export. So there's no, no need to export an Excel file. There's no need to run a replication task to copy your data into a database. Um, so as you request data from the data source, uh, your dashboards and your reports are going to be updated with live data directly from the API. So the next thing that I want to do is uh, walk through connecting. So we will connect to a data source. So the way that we do that is you would log into your Cloud Hub instance um, and you would pick from the available data sources. This list is constantly growing. Um, just to keep things simple, I am going to connect to Twitter. So I'm going to create a virtual, it's going to look like a MySQL database in the cloud, but on the back end, it's going to talk to the Twitter API. Um, so the way that you connect is going to be the way that you connect for the API if you were developing your own integration. Oftentimes, this will mean entering information like an account ID or a username and a password. Um, for a lot of the data sources that are supported, the OAuth standard, which is an authentication standard, is used. And what that means is that when you click to connect to a data source to create this virtual database, it actually takes you to the website for the data source that you're connecting to and asks you to authenticate. Um, and it um, will outline what permissions are being requested um, as you authenticate. So this is communicating through Twitters. Um, and I think that error is actually erroneous, so that's fine. So once you connect, you can save the changes to, to the connection. When we go back to the databases, we can see that I have created a new virtual database for Twitter which is here. And then I mentioned the OData standard, so I just want to touch on this briefly. Uh, it's another point and click interface that allows you to create OData endpoints for your data. So if I want to do that for Twitter, I would open the interface, click the add tables button, um, click through. This is going to re receive, retrieve a, a list of tables that represent the API endpoints for the Twitter um, a, for the Twitter data. So you pick the endpoints that you want to create OData endpoints for. And it retrieves all of the information. Then you can customize which columns are available. Um, we'll simply click Save. And then once you create an OData endpoint, um, you'll, you'll get a fully documented API for that OData endpoint. Um, but as I mentioned before, um, there's a, a native connector in Bold BI that Dinesh will also showcase. Um, so the OData is kind of an extraneous connectivity option uh, if you're using Bold BI um, on the, uh, in the, the installed version of Bold BI. So uh, with that, I will just leave you this URL. 
If you'd like more information about the CData Cloud Hub, you can visit cdata.com slash cloud to read more about that. And at this point, uh, I just want to say thanks again, Dinesh, and I'll pass things back to you um, and let you continue showing us um, how to tell stories with um, live data. So thank you, Gerard, for the introduction about CData. Before telling the story in your data, the data tools being used should be capable of addressing the following requirements. It should enable connectivity in different business apps with ease, along with security standards maintained during, during the data transfers as well. And it should allow analyzing those data. Also, it should allow creating effective visuals easily and should be able to narrate the insights on its own. Next, let us see about the three-step process of converting the data into narrative insights using CData and Bold BI. Let us begin with a use case, creating a dashboard for a CEO of a company where the da dashboard will be having data sources connected from C data. A CEO will be publishing, will, will be building and leading the senior executive team where each one will be managing different departments like finance, HR, sales, or marketing. We all know that each such department would be using different apps for their daily works, as you see here. From sales team being using Zoho CRM, Marketing team would be using different social media and also to combine the social media to manage the so all the social media, they might use tools like HubSpot or uh, Agora Plus, maybe. And to send mails, they may use MailChimp. And for all the UTM parameters and the analytics, they will be using Google Analytics. Similarly, accounts team and finance team as well. A person like CEO should be either dependent on all those leads to get the update of work done or else the CEO himself should log in the app and check out the metrics. On the other hand, just think the CEO uses an interactive dashboard that talks to CRM, social media, finance apps directly. Also, KPIs in that dashboard are being updated in live. Such a single view helps the CEO to track operational KPIs defined for every department in his organization. Now, let us see about building such a dashboard to reveal the insights as story hidden in the data with ease. This CEO dashboard is designed and published in Bold BI with CData as data source, as mentioned earlier. And the finance, CRM, and social media apps are connected in CData Cloud Hub. To quickly overview, uh, give an overview how it works, the CEO dashboard I, I just showed is a cloud to cloud integration with CData Cloud Hub and Bold BI. To explain it as three step process, the dashboard widgets communicates with the CData connector of Bold BI. And the CData connector is nothing but the MySQL database connection, which is talking to the cloud MySQL instance that belong to CData. And that CData MySQL is the one where the CRM finance apps are configured, extracted, and stored. Like the one which Gerard showed. He, he was in uh, CData Cloud Hub. He just connected the Twitter, and all and the needed ex the data will be extracted and stored in MySQL. Now let me show a demo as step-by-step -step process about this cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration. Right now I'm in a Bold BI application. I have logged in in Bold BI application. And before that, let me just show the same uh, clouded C Data Cloud Hub UI, where I have connected these set of apps, over CRM, QuickBooks, Facebook, Elasticsearch, and a, a couple of other uh, uh, applications as well. For this demo, I'm going to use over CRM, Twitter, QuickBooks and FreshBooks. So let me just start with 
creating a dashboard from scratch. Now I'm in the dashboard designer with the empty canvas window. So right away, I'm going to create a new data source for C data. As Gerard mentioned, within the Bold BI, we have a dedicated data source for C data, where you could simply type in the needed information. Just a minute. Needed information like the data source name, So for this particular demo, I'm going to use the Zoho CRM. And I'm going to have my server name as, as the one picked from C data. The server name is going to be my the app name itself, Syncfusion C Data Cloud .net, and my username is going to be the respective credentials. That's it. So with this three information, three simple information, I'm able to access all the databases, all the MySQL instances that I have created in C data, as you could see here. So upon connecting my Zoho CRM MySQL instance, I'd be able to access the Zoho CRM data as live. Now we have, we are right now in the data source designer and I'm able to see all the tables here. For this demo, I'm going to pick the deals table And going to check out a quick update of what the data is present here. Okay, that's great. So right now I'm able to access the actual live data that I have in my Zoho CRM account in Bold BI as live. So let me just save this as data source. And let me start designing the dashboard. Let me quickly create a chart. So, okay, let's create a column chart. And I'm going to name it as deal count by date. Simply let's name this deals by date. And here I'm simply going to drag and drop the necessary fields. So I know this uh, ID will be uh, that the sum of this ID will be total uh, deals count. And I'm going to drag and drop the closing date by default. It will be aggregated with year as you could see and i don't want to sort it in the more number order so i'm going to change the sort order to ascending that's great and once again let me just add the closing gate archive to enable the multi-level drill down and change the type as month In addition, let me just quickly drag and drop one more widget that is the deals amount. 
and quickly change the charts axis type as line also changing the amount measure as secondary axis now this will create me a combo chart so that i could visualize both the both information the total number of deals and also the amount total amount in that year so let me just quickly drag and drop a table to visualize this the the deals here let me just drag and drop the deal name once again the amount and the closing date and this one i let me just change it as date date format so with this we have cre quickly created a zogo crm live dashboard that talks to zogo crm directly and we are able to visualize the insights let me publish this i think i have a category already yes i have That's great. So here I go. I have a Zogo CRM dashboard that is being updated live. Coming back to my presentation. Yeah. Now, let me just dive into the storytelling, data storytelling. In most of the public talks, usually stories make up at least more than 50% of the content script. Just guess why? Because stories allow one to transform meaningful information more better. The same can be applied while narrating insights as well. As you could see, a storytelling dashboard can communicate the insights such that anyone, even he is a non-data guy, should be able to understand the context very clearly. And also, the storytelling dashboard is a next version of prepared the dashboard that addresses one major question. And a storytelling dashboard is a more personalized to one that is that he could be a CEO or a sales manager or a set of target audience to all the managers of a company, to all the executives of a company for whom the mentioned insights are very, very essential. As mentioned in the first slide, effectively communicating the extra extracted insights target audience is very important. These three simple skills are more relevant to improve the storytelling with data. First and foremost is, foremost is being specific about who your audience is. One should design everything, keeping that audience in mind. Creating a chat for a communication purpose for our own understanding is a very easy task. But if we step out of ourselves, and think how to do we will design for our audience and that will give you effective results thinking is nothing but knowing who are they what do they care what do they expect what keeps them at night designing such dashboards keeping with motivated factors in mind will allow to get the target audience attention and also will convey our message easily coming to colors it is not only about using pleasing colors in a dashboard think about where your audience will be looking and will, will be looking more and create a sparing contrast to achieve the attention next we should use more words in a dashboard. 
I mean, it is words, not sentences. Like access labels, value labels, titles in a dashboard. Really, these words will give more meaning quickly to the numbers and charts present in a dashboard. Let me just quickly get back to the dashboard and show you the relevant things. Okay, let me edit this. And as I mentioned in previous slide, let us just take that this is going to be for uh, a CEO who would like to track the deals so far in three years. Okay, so the, if this is going to be the question, they have already created a widget that is showing the count number of deals closed in last three years. Coming to next, using colors. So we can just effectively use the colors such that the KPIs are easily understandable. As you could see, they have two different, uh, two different metrics that is showing. So we should be very careful that these two colors are not, uh, not, not same. They should be very contrast to each other. So let me just apply a very prominent color just for this demo. That's great. And the third point is usage of more words. So as you could see, there are already certain uh, words are there, but let me just tweak it. So, Count of ID is not uh, that much pleasing. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, just, yeah. I'm going to remove that. And instead of that, I can rename it like number of deals or deals count. That would make sense. Similarly, the secondary access title, instead of sum of amount, let me just make it more meaningful as total amount. And let me just change the legends as well. The point is, the more you have words, it will be easy to understand. Similarly, let me quickly create another chart. And show you a demonstration of labels. Again, let me just drag and drop the same thing. Count of deals by closing date. And this time, let me make it as quarter. With that, let me just show with a more prominent uh, information of quarter by year. So I could see the details very relevant. And I cannot leave this widget as it is because if I am able to show what this point is mean, it will be more valuable. So for that, let me show use the show value labels. And let me add a suffix as well. And let me just change the degree. So this would uh, clearly provide a better information what this what this chart is all about. And coming back to my slide. While communicating data-driven findings, it is also important that you place the most important widget in right position, which you want to communicate. We can call that widget with a term like tension. Okay. Again, this tension doesn't matter to you, but to the audience. What I mean about you is the dashboard creator and the audience is nothing but the CEO to whom we prepare the dashboard. Once again, I am relating the same point, which I mentioned in previous slide about 
keeping audience in mind. As CEO's job, he'll be setting the strategy and direction for his company and takes important decision. Let us take a scenario once again, like he need to allocate capital to marketing team when it is budget time. Now, he need the crispy information about company's finance position and income status that is trackable with QuickBooks. Along with it, he checks out the sales performance via metrics from Zogo CRM, which he uses for sales. Based on the fund's availability, he can also cross-check the bending invoices and expenses from his fresh books. Finally, after looking at all the metrics about sales, finance, and uh, 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 accounts, he can look into the marketing team's efforts in Twitter ads, how it went in last quarter. With all this information, he takes a final decision. So, so and so have capital amount to allocate for marketing team. Now, let me just show the dashboard itself once again. As you could see, he just starts with the income by uh, by month, by last four months, and upon that, he just navigates to the sales, how it has been. Uh, progressed and what are uh, what are all the revenue provided by the e different industries and coming back to the accounts fresh books data he just checks out what are all the pending invoices and expenses and with all these finance related information he finally comes to the social media twitter uh, metrics where he just see how the followers and favorites counts are increased and where his target audience are present. So as you see in this example, the so-called tension exists mainly in income to track funds in hand. All other metrics are placed around this, which helps the CEO to quickly understand the story in, his, in this data and take actionable decision of allocating the fund to marketing team. So with that, let me summarize what we went through last 45 minutes. We just started a quick introduction about Bold BI and C data. And then we saw the rules of thumb for creating dashboards. Then we checked out demonstration, it's a best step demonstration about converting data into narrative insights using C data and Bold BI. And we just saw about data storytelling with an example and three ways to improve storytelling with data. Data storytelling is a complex topic, but it's a useful mindset that every dashboard creator can use to enhance the effectiveness of their dashboards. We hope you enjoyed this webinar and that you'll use Bold BI and CData Cloud Hub in your future projects to create exciting informative dashboards from wherever your data exists. Um, so I just want to say thanks again for having me. Um, you know, we we're excited to be partnering with Syncfusion and Bold BI um, to provide, you know, a, a broader data connectivity um, platform uh, for data visualization and dashboards. Um, as I've mentioned several times, uh, if you have any questions about CData, feel free to email me, jaredj at cdata.com, um, or you can connect to us just by navigating around cdata.com. So once again, thanks for having me. Um, it's been a real pleasure been a pleasure for us also you know. uh, we will definitely have future webinars coming up on both bold bi and hopefully another partner one with a uh, c data so please keep an eye out for that but until then we hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon